Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising. Weekly Tower reading September 16th to September 22nd, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we can jump right into it. All right, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Capricorn, is going to be the Two of Pentacles, uh, the Two of Cups, excuse me, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome. We do have the Lovers card. Afterwards is going to be the uh, Strength card which represents the positive aspect of the week. And then the last one is going to be the Four of Cups which stands for the Guidance. So this significantly... Um, leans the or tips the scales towards an, an emotional week very very emotional one and this week is going to be the uh, is going to be very decisive um, in regards to how you feel for a specific individual or for a specific people and is what you feel real or not but before we go into that, guys, let's run the cards one more time. So we do have the Two of Cups, which stands as a topic. Then it is the um, Lover's card, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome. Afterwards is going to be the Strength card, which stands for the, uh, for the positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be the Four of Cups, which represents the Guidance. So uh, Two of Cups, it is the topic and it is catalyzed or accompanied here with the uh, Knights of Cup, the Knights of uh, Wands. So, even though, uh, because the Knights of uh, Wands, it's not falling into the, I want, I want to make a point here. Now, when you read with Elemental Dignities, uh, when the, when the main card, it is a, um, it is a chord card, it's always a person, all right? But here it's the secondary card, it's the catalyst. Doesn't necessarily need to be a person in many cases, but not in this one. Because what these two cards, they are a, a passive enemies. So what these two cards are pointing, it is that um, as some sort of an individual, individual, excuse me, in your life, most likely someone that is gonna appear this week, it's not gonna be a, a person that you already know, or you may know them, but not, a, um, but not up close, okay? It could be that you have met each other for a couple of times, but you haven't even exchanged any words. Anyway, so you will have an opportunity to spend more time or to get to know each other better. And uh, this is going to enthrall you, Capricorn. Uh, this will be kind of like very exhilarating because you're going to see how vital this person is. I mean, vital in the sense of that it's sprinkling from energy. It's, it's someone with a very positive attitude. It's someone who likes to party, for example. It's someone who likes to explore and all these kind of stuff. And uh, it is very possible that you can start developing emotions, right? It's, it's very normal. But the thing is that the lifestyle that this person has 
does not exactly wreak uh, a lot of confidence. Not at all. I mean, it's it's not like you can, let's say, be together and you can rely that that person ain't gonna cheat on you at least for now. Or you can make a business partnership and that person is not gonna screw you around. It's because they are inconsistent. They are they are always campering around trying to make their life more exciting and more exciting. And the thing with the Knights of Wands is that. They are very devoted when uh, whatever they are devoted to is interesting to them. So they find you very interesting. But as soon as they lose interest, they jump to the other one. So it's important if you decide to go along and make partnership, relationship, whatever with the Knights of uh, Wands, you need to uh, be able to feed up that sense of interest. As soon as you become boring, well, you are as good as done, all right? It's just they jump to the next endeavor. That could be a next person or a next hobby or whatever. And you are going to be sitting on the bench. It's as simple as that. So the challenge that you need to overcome here, it is the lover's card. And it is catalyzed here with the king of cups. So we do have an, an active neutrals. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it will be very uh, difficult for you to... Uh, make a, a sober decision, all right, or uh, to make up your mind in a sober way because the emotions are going to overflow. I, I, that, that, that's completely normal. But the thing here with the lover's card, it is that uh, although the lovers may signify good relationship, all right, it does not signify the ideal relationship because uh, the lover's card, it's about two people that are completely different from one another, all right? Different in everything, different in hobbies, different in, in goals, different in, in the way that they live. They bond to, far, to form one whole. And answer me something. How many couples you know that they are, ex that they are completely different from one another? I cannot think of one. Right, because what people seek is the same person, and to me, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, to, to, to be with the same person as you are, to have the same goal, to have the same interest, interest, and etc. etc. I mean, if you do what you are gonna learn from each other, nothing really, and, and that's the whole point to become whole to learn what, what you are, the other isn't, and what the other is, you aren't. So, the whole point of being one whole with someone is to uh, be addition to him, not to be a amplifier, if, if that makes sense. So that is going to be the challenge here. Are you going to be able to acknowledge this and with a complete uh, awareness of that you are extremely different, give it a go? Or the difference is, instead of making you special to one another, you decide that they are a crux in between each other. That is entirely up to you. But the positive aspect of the week here for you, uh, Capricorn, it is the strength card and it is catalyzed here with the Ace of Swords. So uh, uh, the positively, it doesn't look like that you are going to drop off your enthusiasm. Even uh, whatever you, you decide here, uh, your uh, positive vision or po positive outlook for the future is not going to abate, not for a second. Even on top of that, whatever you decide, should you make it or break it, okay, you will be, uh, you will be able to see the most positive picture in front of yourself. <clears throat> it being very um, practical in regards to what follows next. And instead of losing time uh, to pity yourself or to commiserate yourself, you will immediately start doing actions to improve your circumstances in either case. So these two cards as a positive aspect uh, for you Capricorns does express the, the enthusiasm, you know, the determination to end up happy and to end up lucrative, to end up beneficial, successful, you name it, regardless, nonetheless, regardless of what is happening around you right now. So it's, it's like you take the, 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 the matters and your future in within your own hands. Now, important thing to be said about these two cards, <clears throat> the strength and the ace of swords, is that you shouldn't waste your breath allow the actions to speak louder than words because this is what happens here throughout the week, all right? Your actions are gonna sound and are gonna have an echo for a, a long time, but your words are rather gonna be forgotten on the next morning. And the last card, which is the guidance, that will be the Four of Cups 
and it's accompanied or catalyzed by the queen of wands, right? So you can definitely align with the person that it's, it's to approach you throughout this week, either for business or for a relationship. It is just it will be difficult to go out of your way. This is what it does require with those two cards. You do have the skill, you do have the uh, the knowledge, you do have a room for your heart, if you want to say it that way as well. You very well acknowledge his um, his human nature, or you know what, what human nature he is, or she is, that is, that person is. And uh, if you go in, for example, in a relationship with them, either business or a romantic one, it doesn't matter. And at the end of the day, it doesn't work out and you try to blame them that they have deceived you with their intentions. That's not true. Okay. You, at, the, at the very start, you knew what they want. You knew what kind of a person they are. And you are completely aware of what is going to follow next from their behalf. And you have to align with it. And these guidance cards are encouraging you to stop looking toward the past, but look toward the future and try it out. Because it's really a good opportunity for you to experience something quite, it's, it's, it's like exhilarating and quite, um, how do you say it? When you do something and you feel like you live again, okay? So yeah. That was uh, your tarot reading Capricorns uh, for a, a September 16th to September 22nd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.